If you know how to create an Angular module, then you know how to build a component library for Angular. Or you will by the end of this video at least. Publishing an Angular library can seem like something reserved for those cool open source types slinging code like they are Matt Farrell from Die Hard. There are some incredible libraries out there that are the result of thousands of hours of work by many contributors. And they actually are quite complex, as massive, coordinated efforts between many different developers tend to be. But publishing your own Angular library is way easier than it might seem. I intend to demonstrate this by building and publishing an absolutely terrible Angular library called ng-worst. Nobody should use it, and contributing to it is easy because it has such low standards. So to start, I'm going to take this configurable table component we built in a couple of previous videos and publish that as part of the ng-worst component library. In fact, it's going to be the only component this library has until you come along and help me out, but I'll talk more about that later. So this is where the component lives currently. I just have a standard example Angular application where I built this, and it is not yet part of a library. Now this particular component isn't actually that bad. It's quite well designed and strongly typed. So if you're interested in building a type safe and generic table component, it would be worth your time checking out the video for this one in the description. But knowing how to build this component specifically isn't really relevant to this video. This is just a demo component that is completely lacking in any sort of styling, it has an incomplete feature set, and no real use case. So it is perfect for ng-worst. Okay, so now it's time to get this component into its own publishable Angular library. And I'm going to use an NX workspace to do this, but this is possible with just the standard Angular CLI and Angular workspaces too. So if you don't want to use NX, the general concepts are still going to mostly be the same. So to get started, we are going to create a new NX workspace by running npx create NX workspace. We're going to need to give this workspace a name. I'm just going to call it worst. And we are actually going to use the Angular application workspace preset. So although we are building a publishable library, not an Angular application, we are also going to use this workspace to test the library. So we're going to have both the library itself and an application to test it out in the same workspace. And using the Angular preset for NX also means we don't have to worry about manually installing the Narwhal Angular plugin, which we will need to generate the library as it is already going to be included by default. So I'm just going to call this default application within this workspace playground because that's where we're going to be testing out the library. Okay, so now that's generated, I am just going to open that in VS code. Okay, so this is our workspace and inside of our apps folder, we have the playground application we just generated to test the library. And in the libs folder itself, where the library will actually be created, we currently don't have anything. So the first thing we are going to do is create a publishable Angular library with NX, which we can do by running NX G and we'll use the Narwhal Angular plugin. We are going to call this library NG worst and we need to supply the publishable flag to indicate that this is buildable and publishable. This means we're going to be able to actually publish this to NPM. If we don't supply the publishable flag, we're just going to get a library that we can only use within this workspace. And since we are creating a publishable library, we need to supply an import path. So this is going to be basically the package name. So again, we are going to call this ng worst as well. And we are also going to supply a prefix of worst. So this is what it's going to be used, say for component names, where we prefix that with some identifier. So all of our components are going to use a selector name like worst dash table, for example. And I'm just running the commands manually here because I know what I need. But keep in mind that there is a VS code extension called NX console. And if you use this, it's going to give you a GUI interface for running these commands. So if you don't know what commands are available or what options are available to those commands, you can use NX console and it's going to just show you everything that is available and give you an interface to let you type it all in. So I'm going to run this now. And I actually forgot to put the double dashes in front of prefix. So I'll fix that and run it again. And now over in this libs folder, we can see that the ng worst library or package has been created for us now. And if we open up the package.json for this library, 
we can see that it is called ng worst. This is what the name of the NPM package is going to be called. And it's currently on version 0.0.1. So this package right here is what we will build and publish to NPM. And what will be available in this package is whatever we export from this index.ts file. So right now we are just exporting this ng worst module. So if I open up the lib folder here, we can see what that is. It's just an empty ng module. But we're going to be getting rid of this and replacing it with our own component modules that we will export from this index.ts file. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this right now because we don't need it. And I can also remove it from the index.ts. And now let's add our first component to this library. So on the left, we have our NX workspace with our empty library. And on the right, we have the component I've already created in an Angular application. Now we don't strictly need to do this, but I'm going to create an additional folder inside of the lib folder here called components. And I'm going to use that to hold all of the components we create for this library. Now I'm going to use an advanced computer science technique now. So make sure you watch this closely. I'm going to click on this existing component in the Angular application on the right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. And then in this components folder, I'm going to paste it. So with the tricky part out of the way, it should be smooth sailing from here. We're just going to need to tweak our component slightly. So to keep with that worst prefix we set up, we are just going to change all of these app prefixes to worst. So I'll just select all of those and write worst instead. And the default ESLint rules are complaining about renaming the inputs here. So we are just going to ignore this by disabling it for this file, not just because this library has low standards, uh, this table component actually has a legitimate use for naming things this way. Now this component is all created as a single file component. And you can see at the bottom here, I have a table component module defined. And this exports everything that we are able to use from this component. So in our normal app, we would just import this table component module wherever we wanted to use the table component that we've created. Now for this component specifically, there are a couple of directives that this comes with that you can also use, but for a more simple component, all you'd be doing is declaring and exporting your one single component. Now let's stick to a specific naming convention for this library. So what we're going to do is name all of our modules, our component modules, in the form of worst and then whatever it is module. So I'm going to call this worst table module. This means that if we want to use this table component in an actual application, we will be able to install the ng worst library, import worst table module from it, and then add that to the imports of any module where we want to use the table component. So it's really no different to importing the module from within your own application. It's just coming from an NPM package instead. So now we just need to export this from our main index.ts file. And what I'm actually going to do is create an index.ts file for the components folder specifically. And I'm going to export the table component from here. And then in our main index.ts file, I'm going to export everything from that components folder. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to set the version number on this to 1.0.0 to indicate that this is ready for the prime time now. And we are going to be able to build our library by running nx build ng worst. And what this is going to do is create an artifact in our dist folder, which I'll show you in a second. So you can see this successfully ran the build target. We now have this dist folder over here. And this contains the built version of our ng worst library. And we could even publish this to NPM right now if we wanted to. But before we get ahead of ourselves and publish this, let's actually test to see if this works. This library may be low quality, but it still does have at least some standards. So one cool thing about an NX workspace is that we can consume libraries inside of apps in this workspace, whether or not they are publishable. So let's go over to our playground app now. And we're going to try to use this table component just inside of our root component. So the first thing we're going to need to do is add that worst table module to this root module. So let's just try to import that here. 
And you can see this imports just as if it were a normal NPM package. We are importing worst table module from ng-worst. But the path for this actually points to the library locally in the workspace. So you can see the path that it is using here is actually pointing to that local libs folder. This isn't importing from node modules or anything like that. So we can use this without actually publishing it to NPM. So with the worst table module imported, I should now be able to use the table in the root component. So what I'm going to do is just set up some test data in here. I just have an array representing inventory items. This is the same dummy data I used for the other video. And then we will add the component to the template. So I'm just going to paste that in here. So you can see we're using our worst table now. So let's save that. And we're going to serve the application with NX serve playground. And we will see if this table component actually works. And we can see that it does indeed work, which is great because now we can focus on actually publishing this library. So to publish this, what we can do is change our working directory to the dist folder. So what we're going to do is CD into the folder specifically for our ng worst library. This is the built version of the library. And then we will just need to run some NPM commands. But first let's just go to the distribution folder here, open up our ng worst package and just check that everything looks fine. So we're going to open the package.json, check the version number, check the package name, see that you're happy with everything. We are actually missing some configurations here, like adding a link to the repository for this code, the license, author, and so on. But we'll just leave that out for now. We can add that in later. The key parts are that the package name and version number are correct. So we're going to publish our first version as 1.0.0, um, which isn't all that common. In a real situation, you're probably going to publish it as something like 0.0.1 to indicate that it's perhaps not completely production ready. But we're going to go with 1.0.0 because we're so confident in this library. And then every time we publish a new version of this, we'll have to increment this version number somehow. So we can either just bump it up by a patch version here, or you could change it to 2.0. It doesn't really matter. The main thing is that it is higher than the previous version number. Now there is something called semantic versioning that does sort of suggest how you should change this version number, but I'm not going to get into that here, uh, but look that up if you're interested. Okay. So now that we're happy with everything, we are going to run the command npm add user. And this actually requires that you have an npm account. And what you're going to do here is log in with the user that you want to publish this package under. So I'm going to publish this under my Josh Maroney account. So I have now logged in with my NPM account and then assuming that you want to publish this package publicly, you can now run NPM publish and we're going to do dash dash access public. So this is only required for the first publish future publishers. You can just use NPM publish because the sort of uh, privacy of the package has already been set. So I'm going to run that command, going to have to enter in my token again. And there we go. The package is now published live on NPM. So you should now be able to go to your NPM account. You go to your packages and we should see in this list here, there is the ng worst library. And so now anyone can install this library and use it in their Angular apps just by running NPM install ng worst. So if you've watched this far in the video, then I want to issue you a couple of challenges. So first, just follow the steps exactly as I've outlined them in this video to create your own publishable library, replacing the table component with any kind of basic component you can think of. It could just be a button or a paragraph tag that says hello. It really doesn't matter. Then actually publish it as your own package to NPM. Again, it doesn't matter how bad or useless the library is. You can always just immediately unpublish it if you want to. The important part is just going through the steps yourself. Uh, it's going to help the knowledge stick a lot more. Plus, if you have never published an NPM package before, well, now you have. And the second challenge is to contribute your own component to the ng worst library specifically. So just like my table component exists here, you can add your own little component here as well. Again, it can be absolutely anything, no matter how terrible, as long as you follow a few basic rules, it's going to get merged. 
So this will be especially worthwhile if you have never contributed to an open source project before. And we can even pretend that ngWorst is actually a respectable project. So the first thing you should do is check out the contributing.md file in the repo. Different open source projects will have different rules around contributing. So mine are going to be very simple and I'll also add some guidance on how to make the contribution in there as well. So you can find a link for this in the description. Okay, that's it for this video. My ngWorst library probably doesn't deserve GitHub stars, but if you made it this far, maybe you think this video is worth a like or subscribe. I hope you have a great day and I hope you stick around for the next video.